Hello guys, it's Tech 99 here and welcome to NRL predictions and tips, or tips and predictions, depending on how, way would you want to be with it, round 21 of the NRL, we are coming down to the last five rounds of the season where it all matters and for a few clubs this match can decide whether or not they will make finals, so without further ado, uh, let's just get straight into it. So the first match on this week, it is one of these big matches which could decide the fate of certain teams finals. It is, of course, the Sydney Roosters hosting the Brisbane Broncos. Now, the Roosters, uh, last week, they did get a crucial win against Manly. Obviously, Manly had to start a few um, a few players because of a whole uh, saga that, uh, yeah, we don't... I don't think we need to really go much more into detail with it, but um, the Roosters did win that game. Brisbane, on the other hand, possibly suffered one of the biggest... one of the most unexpected losses last week when the West Tigers actually ended up beating him. It was a fantastic performance by the uh, Tigers. Brisbane were caught... So Brisbane still played all right, but just somehow just let the Tigers come into this. So, obviously, the Broncos are currently situated in fifth, and the Roosters still are now in eighth. Now, the Roosters obviously want to build up as much gap as possible between the three other teams that are tr still trying to vie for the finals, which is like Manly, St. George, and Canberra. And I think... Ma Manly St. George Canberra. I think those those are the main teams. I think there's probably another one that I'm forgetting about, but... Anyway, so basically, so there's a two-point gap at the moment. The Roosters would definitely like there to be a four-point gap so they could try to cement themselves in the finals. And personally, I think they will do it. I think the Roosters obviously going to come off the momentum. Of Brisbane might go into a little bit of a slump, but they play the Knights next week so they can batter them like 70-5. to five. So you can just... Uh, they should, the Brisbane will be fine, but uh, I don't think they're going to win this match. Now we go to the first game on the Friday, and it is the Melbourne Storm up against the Gold Coast Titans. So, uh, the Melbourne Storm did get their win last week against the New Zealand Warriors. Uh, it was it was a very it was an all right performance by the Storm. Uh, for certain aspects, of people there's a little bit of controversy because people are saying that a Sofa Solomona uh, should be suspended. Uh, I personally think that um, if someone else did that, if, if David Clement did that, he would probably be suspended. But, uh, you know, you got to love the NRL discrepancies when it comes to differentiating in terms of, 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 a, um, of the judiciary system. But, obviously, it's in Melbourne. Storm have finally broken their streak. They're definitely not going to lose this game. Now we go to the final game on the Friday night, and it is another huge clash. And not only that, it is also a... Pretty much a rivalry game, I'd probably say the least. It is the Manly Sea Eagles up against the Parramatta Eels. Obviously, Manly are going to get all their players back who uh, stepped out from last week because of, you know. And uh, Parramatta last week, obviously, they did beat Penrith, but a lot of questions about that game of a lot of what ifs. I still personally, in terms of the what ifs, if Cleary doesn't get sent off and. Pa and Penrith still played with 13 men. I still think Parramatta would have won, but just instead of obviously the uh, the absolute uh, bollocking that would proceed to happen in the uh, first half. But um, this game is really close to decide here. As you see, the odds at the moment really tight. But um, personally, I I've got to give it to Parramatta. I just. On a, this is going to be a really close game, potentially golden point. But personally, I think that uh, Parramatta will just be able to cross over the line. But then again, would not be surprised if Manly do win. But it's just... Uh, I just personally think that Parramatta should, um, should be able to get across the line. Now we go to the Saturday games and the first one at 3pm. It is the South Sydney Rapidos up against the New Zealand Warriors up at Sunshine Coast Stadium. It's, uh, I don't know why this game's in Queensland. I think there's a bunch of games up in Queensland for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, South Sydney, of course, uh, last week they, uh, had a bunch of chances to put away Cronulla in the, uh, in the goal, in, in Golden Point, but these didn't take him and saw Cronulla take the win. Uh, the New Zealand Warriors did play valiantly against Melbourne, but unfortunately did lose um, to the uh, to the Storm in a, in a valiant effort. Um, personally, I just feel like South Sydney are really trying to get themselves a home final at this point. So, unfortunately to say, but I definitely think South Sydney should be able to take this win. 
Now we go to the 5.30 game on Saturday. And again, it's another huge clash. As the Canberra Raiders, who are currently situated in ninth place, take on the Penrith Panthers. Obviously, we know what has happened with Penrith last week. Of uh, Nathan Cleary uh, getting sent off. And he's probably going to be suspended. Probably until the, uh, the Cowboys game. It's probably how I think it's going to go. Uh, was it send-off worth? 100% it was. I think it's on the same level as... Um, it was Carl Lorne. Uh, for some reason during the stream when it happened, I kept saying it was um, Andrew Davey, but it, it was Carl Lorne. I, I, I just don't know why it was. I still thought it was Andrew Davey. But um, obviously this game, Canberra in ninth, they definitely want to try to close the gap on the Roosters. But the thing is, though, when we look into the second half with pa the Panthers... They are, they defend, honestly, for most of the second half, Penrith were the better team, and they were down to 12 men, which is like, if you were to lose a player and go down to 12 for an entire match, you'd much rather it happen earlier on, so you can have some time to adapt. And I do think Penrith did extraordinarily well in that second half to make it sure it wasn't like a massive blowout. I mean, it still sort of was a blowout, but obviously not to the extent as what, uh, what I personally thought was going to happen. But, um, personally in this game, I'm, it's going to be another close game. I know Canberra are pretty good at home. I think Penrith are going to just edge them out. I think Sean O'Sullivan will have a, a career game uh, this weekend. Basically just, um, yeah, it's just showing really well about how um, if him becoming the main halfback for the... Uh, for the God, the Dolphins. That's it. Yeah, I keep forgetting they exist. Now we go to the main event game on the Saturday night, and it is sort of another big clash. It is the Cronulla Sharks against the St George Illawarra Dragons. The Dragons, obviously, one of the teams still trying to vibe with the finals, but they are in the lowest spot possible out of the teams that can still make it. Uh, the Sharks currently, uh, Dragon, uh, fucking whoa. Let me try. Whoa, a lot of thoughts cross my mind. So the Dragons, obviously, last week they um. They suffered a big loss against the Cowboys, which uh, I definitely didn't predict would uh, would happen. Uh, Cronulla, on the other hand, very close game against the uh, the, the Rabbitohs. Rabbitohs did take their chances, and then the Sharks just made them punish them with that field goal to either uh, win the game. So I feel like out of all, I, for some reason I think like out of the teams that are still trying to vie for the finals, I thought the Dragons would be that one, but I think it's too little, too late. I think Cronulla. Should win this game and probably put the Dragons out of their misery in terms of the uh, in terms of the rest of the season. Now we go to the first game on the Sunday, and it is the Canterbury Bulldogs up against the North Queensland Cowboys. It's up at Bundaberg. Uh, uh, that's uh, that's in Queensland. I'd I'd like to hopefully think, but um, yeah. So the Bulldogs obviously last week beat the Knights and. Uh, I saw a bunch of people, uh, I saw one person actually on Jason David's um, TikTok saying that the Dogs still have a chance to make the finals. Basically, uh, the only way that can happen is if about four or five teams lose nearly all of their games and the Dogs win all of theirs. I don't, I don't think Dogs fans are some of the brightest tools in the shed, but basically... <laughs> they beat the Knights, well done, you're nothing special. <laughs> You can see I'm very angry about that. Um, but um, obviously the Cowboys last week did have a big thumping win over the Dragons. And I, it's up in North Queensland. I, the Cowboys should just very easily win. And then you can finally put the nail, the, put, the, put the bullet into the head of the dog. Bloody old, old yellow was a dog, right? <laughs> old yellow was a dog. I know it wasn't a bulldog, but it was a dog. <laughs> I hope. I hope my analogy works. This is where I find it. Oh no, it's a horse. But um, the Cowboys should win this game. They hold on to their second spot. And it mathematically puts the Dogs out of the finals. Even though they've been gone pretty much for majority of the season. And now we go to the final game on the uh, of the NRL round of 21. And it is Spoon Bowl 4, I think. <laughs> Spoon Bowl 4. It's the West Tigers up against the Newcastle Knights. Pretty much whoever loses this game is now in an interlocking battle with the Gold Coast Titans as to see who can get the wooden spoon. So, Tigers had a fantastic performance against the uh, the Broncos, resulting in their win. And the Knights are fucking lackluster. 
Like, honestly, even Adam O'Brien knows he's apparently his Knights career is hanging by a thread, but uh, personally, I wouldn't exactly want the Knights to sack him because uh, it's like, well, then who the f who do we get? Like, who steps up as coach? It's just, like, genuinely, there's like, well, Trent Barrett, like, M Madge? About, that, that'd be interesting if Madge actually was the coach of the Knights, but, um... This game, obviously, I feel like the Tigers are going to have the edge, and the Tigers will actually win this game. They'll go on a little bit of a run right near to the end of the season, but, um... Yeah, so, personally, I feel like the wooden spoon battle will be between the Newcastle Knights and the Gold Coast Titans, so... Might make a video on that, the battle for the wooden spoon, somewhat later. But don't hold me to it, because every time I promise a video, most of the time, does not happen. But... That is going to be the end of the uh, predictions video. Who do you guys have this round? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.